All right, so Baker will be in lane two, and Reagan Smith, the youngest in the field, will be in lane four at just 17 years old. There is the world record again, 20406 for Missy Franklin. And out they come down there in lane seven, Anastasia Avdeeva. She's just 17 years old. National record holder for Russia. And there is Kathleen Baker, the world record holder in the 100 back. Number one qualifier in the 50 back going into last night's final. Ended up finishing six. So it's been kind of a little up and down for Baker, who's gone through all sorts of injuries and setbacks. There is Catalin Burian of Hungary coming out, 24 years old. Third in the 200 back at the European Championships. And Kylie Moss, very talented 23-year-old from Canada. Better in the 100. Defended the title in the 100 back a couple of nights ago. So already has a goal here. There's Margarita Panziera of Italy. Number one time in the world this year and has been coming on strong last year. Since last year, there's Reagan Smith. And you talk about an up and coming swimmer for the United States. Reagan Smith is a name you're going to hear an awful lot about in the coming years. Oh, there is no question about it. She only swims one event at these world championships, but this reminds me a lot of the young Missy Franklin that we saw at the 2000, 2011 World Championships there when she only swam one individual event. She's so good, they may just pop her on the medley relay the last night. Kathleen Baker, the Americans are so strong in this event worldwide. Baker and Smith are the only ones here, but there are four Americans ranked in the top 10 in the world. Moss, you might say a little better in the hunter back. She was the fastest swimmer in the world in this event last year. Good field, top three swimmers in the world in this semi. But it falls off after that. So there's the teenager from the United States in the middle of the pool in lane four. Above her is Moss already with a gold medal at these championships. Smith committed to Stanford, but still has her senior year in high school to go. Good all-around swimmer and expected to make the Olympic team next year in multiple events, Rowdy. And I don't want to get too much into hyperbole, but watching her preliminary, Dan, in the 200 back this morning, she looks so easy, and I, I think she's capable of much more. She broke the junior world record this morning, and I, I think she's just as good in the 100 backstroke. And if, and it's a big if, but if she ends up swimming on that relay, I wouldn't be surprised if she takes a crack at that world record, Kathleen Baker's world record of 58 flat. So there's Reagan Smith with the clear lead here at the halfway point again this is the second semifinal, trying to get into the final eight and by the way she's cruising right now it will be easy for reagan smith ahead of world record pace at the moment is smith from lakeville minnesota now below three going out about two tenths faster than the world record that head position so it's a great look guys of her head position so still, grabs that water. You see the angle of the water, about 30 degrees each side. So her rotation is good, but her head position is what's so nice there. It never moves. It's almost like you're resting it on a thin pillow, and there she goes. The rising voice of Roddy Gaines will tell you that she's at the <laughs> world record pace. 131.8. Could we see another one? This would be phenomenal. Missy's world record set on her way to gold in London back in 2012, seven years ago. And Regan Smith, at the age of 17, is pulling away from the world record line. This is unbelievable. Smith is going to shatter Missy Franklin's mark. Get the end. Reagan Smith in shock as she looks at the board and takes a look at that time. 2.03.35. Have you ever? Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, yep, I think she's going to be on that medley relay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think this is the new star. 
been talking about. Yeah, I've talked to so many different media outlets over the last couple of months heading into these world championships. And so many have asked me, who's a new bright, shiny star that we can look to to 2020? Well, you just found her. You just found her, everyone, right there. Have you ever, Dan? 203 first swimmer ever in history. And she broke another one of those world records that I thought was gonna last a long time. Look at the length of stroke. It cut along on the finish, but she charged in. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, sleek all the way in. You can never underestimate momentum. Simone Manuel started this session with a win from lane one in the women's 100 free. Caleb Dressel came back, broke a world record in his semifinal earlier, and 17-year-old Reagan Smith, the youngest in the field, shatters Missy Franklin's seven-year-old mark set at the London Games in 2012. 20335 is the new standard. A world record for the 17-year-old Reagan Smith. You looked like you were in shock. Were you in shock? I was definitely in shock. I, I never. That record was incredible when Missy did it in London, and I just, I never thought I'd be able to go something like that. So it's just like an unreal feeling right now. What is going through your mind during that race? When you, you did you feel at any point that was a possibility, or was it just when you looked up at the board at the end? Yeah. I I mean, I was like, hopefully I can drop from this morning. I was like, if I go 205 tonight, that'd be awesome. So I was, I'm still shocked. I like, don't believe it yet. So yeah, it's crazy. You've had a long wait. This is the first time we've seen you in the pool. Have you been able, obviously, to use that to your advantage? Definitely. I've really been feeding off of, you know, all the great swims that Team USA has had. And I have never felt more motivated in my life than when I'm competing for Team USA. So. It's just I couldn't think of a better opportunity and a better place to do this, so it's awesome. Reagan, congratulations. Thank you so much.